Hello YouTube, welcome to Copper, Silver and Steel. This is a new name for my channel where we will be exploring stuff connected with weapons, connected with electricity, off-grids, solution for backup power, but also investing in silver and gold. So this is the new name, Copper, Silver and Steel. And this video is one of the first of my new series where we will be building an off-grid system, complete off-grid backup solar power. And I would like to show you all my knowledge because I have already built such a system and I would like to share a lot of knowledge with you because there is a lot of channels, a lot of, a lot of movies, but I haven't found a complete a substantial information about it. Okay, so today's video is about automatic wire stripper, this tool which will be very handy if you are building solar system backup, off-grid solar system, or you are doing anything with electricity in your house, in your business, whatever. As you may know or not, there are sockets called M4 sockets used in solar panel. And basically, uh, we will be also making a tutorial how to use the pilots to make uh, such a connection. So I get a lot of sockets because some of them just remain from my buildup. But before you do anything with uh, wire, you need to remove the insulation. So uh, basically this is copper wire. This is um, very widely used in solar systems. Uh, so it is the diameter six millimeters in American standardized. So if we are talking about American wire gauge, the diameter, <clears throat> Six millimeters is, as you can see, 10 AVG, yeah? So basically, uh, this kind of tool could handle a lot, dif a lot of different uh, diameters. Uh, we will be using six millimeters. I got here 2.5 millimeters. I also have four millimeters. And how basically such a tool works? Well, basically, here you get the of course, this mod, this particular model is whatever clone Chinese tool. There is a lot of tools, automatic wire stripper. Just find one in your local store and we'll be happy. Basically, the most of them works in the same way. Uh, they are used to remove insulation. So you actually take the wire, putting in here and setting the depth. So how much, how long you would like to have this cut and the remaining part. But depending on what kind of connection you are making, uh, there will be some differences. So basically I will make a cut like this. This is a nice cut for MC4 uh, connection, but depending on how long you use this marker here, you could make longer or uh, wider um, cut. This kind of tool also has a, uh, you know, a wire cutter. So you can take a part of a wire, put in here and just cut it. Very useful. There is also a crimping pilot to make the, the whole setup, but I won't recommend you using it if you have just a poor lever without any additional lever that like in here, just take a look. There will be a lot more power and better, you know, connection in this kind of tool. So use it for um, insulation removal, use it, use it for cutting, but do not use this for making the uh, strip, um, to making the whole connection. All right. So as you can see, as I said, it could remove insulation from many uh, wire diameters or wire gauges. This is why it's called automatic wire because you don't need to, you know, specify the diameter of your wire because sometimes you don't even know the, of course you can measure it by your experience. You can uh, find it, but this kind of tool, uh, out LID SI six APR probably uh, some, uh, so yeah, we got here, um, 
American wire gauge uh, ranges from 12 to 10 uh, crimping yeah because we could use as I said for making this crimps in here it's also similar you get 2.5 4.0 or 6.0 millimeters all right so um, I think it's all for now for this first video now you know how to use the automatic wire stripper how to remove isolation from the cable because this will be very very uh, often uh, activity during building your own uh, off-grid system uh, of course you can take the knife or, and remove this isolation by your own by cutting the wire and removing it but Believe me, if you are making half, I don't know, maybe 200 strips, uh, it is very handy to use such a tool. So I strongly recommend it. It's not very expensive. I think it's worth buying even if you are building only one system. Because from the DC side, when you are um, preparing MC4 connection for solar cable, but also on the AC side where, where you have 2.5 or 4.0 millimeters square wires, there will be also a lot of uh, cutting and stripping the insulation. So thanks for now, it was copper, silver and steel. And if you want to know how to build your off-grid system if you want to know something about investing in gold and silver or if you want to know something about steel sabers katanas and more don't forget to subscribe this channel and yeah see you later in the next video